It's not working. It's not working. Oh, what works? Oh, okay. Hello, everybody. I'm... No? Yeah. Hello everybody, my name is Lara Drobniak and today I will be your commentator for the match Mixed Team Bronze Medal match where Netherlands and Hungary will be shooting. I'm saying you hello from beautiful Sofia, beautiful yet very windy and yet very very problematic with its weather. Um, we here can see on the Netherlands team Jesse van den Mukhoff and Steph Williams. Um, they they are like very qualified archers. They shoot on many youth uh, youth tournaments, and they have scored uh, as a team plenty of medals. Or Netherlands has scored some medals on youth championships. And on the Hungarian team, we can see Lili Lukaveg and uh, Istvan Cerznyak. Steph Williams is, is a Dutch archer, age 20, who also competes on international tournaments like World Cups, World Championships, and he has amazing scores. Here he scored 700 points in qualifications, yet his personal best on a very high tournament is 698 points. Um, he had one World Cup podium, where he won um, a medal in Antalya 2022 on Hyundai World Archery first stage. Because I was missing somebody, I didn't know <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so and this is, uh, the girl is Jesse van den Munkov. Jesse van den Munkov. Jesse van den Munkov. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, I have opened them on yes. my phone, I will tell that. Yes. Yeah. We have this to read from. So here is a biography, presentation. I already right. like said hi, but uh, I don't. I didn't do it uh, very well. We how do we turn them on? Uh, so uh, the light. Yeah. Okay, here is not light. Yeah. But look at this. Oh if it's come on. It will. All right. You see? So I just. Uh, but you you can't see it if you don't uh, put yeah. the shade. All right. No way. Yeah.
Hello, everybody. Hello for me also. I'm with Alexander. And I'm with Tuara. And we will be commentating on the bronze medal mixed team match, where we will be seeing Netherlands and Hungary shoot together. The Dutch team are Jesse van den Munkov and Stef Willems. And for the Hungary team, we'll be seeing Lili Luka Beg and Istvan Cernak. The, the Dutch were four in the qualification. They had tough eliminations with Israel, 140-128. And they unfortunately lost to France, 143 to 132. And now they are for the bronze medal match with the Hungary team. And as of Hungarian team, they were qualified six after the qualifications, where they won their first match against Greece, where they shot 151-128. Uh, next, they went against Italy, which is also a very, very strong country, which shoots worldwide and has many podiums per year in every division. Um, after their one against Italy, they came upon uh, Great Britain. In their match, they lost and went for bronze with Netherlands. We can see Jesse shooting the first arrow. Nice strong shot. It was a nine. Yes, the pressure is very high. As of the athletes who are putting pressure on the Hungarian team by shooting first, as nine. well as to the athletes. Ten. Ten Steph nine. started with a ten. That's a much pressure for the Hungarian team. They have to match their results or shoot higher, which is not easy to shoot to tens. Yes, you'll see. Will Lily manage to put the pressure on the Netherlands team? Ten. And she ju does just that. She shot ten. Strong shooting. It's turn for Istvan. Eight. It's eight. So the Netherlands team is leading with one point. Yeah, we can also see that one of these archers is an international senior archer who yeah. also competes on very high level of archery on World Cups, like for example, Steph Willems. Um, he has uh, even a World Cup medal from Antalya 2022. He has a um, man team third bronze medal. Bronze medal. And we see very strong shooting you can and capabilities from this archer. Yeah, you can see that it's not his first time. He's very confident. He's even laughing. No pressure. Of in course, him. he he knows how to deal with pressure. He's very comfortable shooting. Um, he even won uh, in the Romania 2022 with a marvelous 150 in his match. Apparently, that was also his first time he shot 150 in a match. It was a gold medal match. So this boy is known for a very high performance and very high quality mm. shooting. Mm. As of the Hungarian team, um, um, East one is also competing uh, for a long time now. And uh, I personally have seen him on Central European Cups where uh, he was on uh, in the finals and he was definitely on the podium um, but we cannot see from him that he competed on oh yes we can i'm sorry he was on one world championship one continental championship international events so that's also a boy who has a lot of experience and what about lily and about lily um i as well saw her on uh, central european cups those are the type of tournament that uh, those that's a regional tournament that's usually um, played in um, 
regional countries around uh, Croatia, Hungary, Serbia. It's a very fun yeah. tournament. It's made for uh, kids, younger people <laughs> actually, to uh, learn how to compete in high level of to archery. The pressure, yeah. Yes, and but also so it's, it's a senior people, tournament as well as the junior and cadet yeah, tournament. Yes. So we begin with the second tent. The Netherlands team is leading with three points. The pressure, uh, as we say, is in them because they have to keep with the scores. We can see Steph Williams laughing, smiling. He's very ready to shoot. He loves it. Yeah. We can see the pure adoration in him while he shoots. So lovely. So we can see Lily Vag shooting first. <coughs> nice opening from Lily. Strong confident shot. It's turn for Istvan. So the judges will have to decide what the arrow is later. So for now they have 19 points. Also we've seen Jesse really shooting great on this tournament. Um, she went um, very far in her individual matches. Um, And she shot like really, really well. <coughs> Definitely surprising everybody. Lily shooting the second arrow. She has a very long hold, <coughs> but she seems very, very maybe if not confident she seems very um at peace with the circumstances she's in she really seems like she got it under control yeah, she know. knows why she's here and she's ready to take it she's ready to take it but ready relaxed and calm i think that the energy is very relaxed among athletes. Nine. They are holding each other very, very well. Also, Steph was uh, in the finals of um, Youth World Championships last year. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Where he uh, lost <laughs> in the match against <laughs> Matthias Fullerton, yeah, bronze I medal match. Him, I saw him in uh, Limerick, Ireland, yeah, the youth championships. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, I was there and he was like always just uh, so confident, so calm. He always knows uh, what his strong shot is like and he always performs it. Yes, he's... Uh, uh, very very good archer also you're a shooter yeah I'm shooter I'm from here in Bulgaria nice. uh, but I'm just too old to uh, to, to compete, compete in here uh -huh. I'm uh, 21 this year oh interesting interesting yeah. because I haven't seen you on this tournament I, I haven't met you before uh, and yeah. what are you shooting a recurve uh, I'm uh, with just this year I have bought the new Taxi Olympus and oh. uh, GMX pretty much both some um, uh, advertising okay. for the viewers. <laughs> both advertising. <laughs> then I should be advertising PSC. <laughs> 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 uh, nice. So interesting. Uh, so last year you were still in juniors? Yeah, I was still in juniors. We went to Ireland, but unfortunately I was alone. No team, no oh. mixed team. Yeah. But how did you shoot individually? Individually, pretty bad. The weather was <laughs> always rainy, <laughs> always windy, and just the pressure got to me. Ah, but yes. But unlike for me, we can see that the archers here are laughing. They are uh, now relaxed. It's their third tent, and they are pretty much used to what it's like. Uh, so the Dutch team is leading by 11 points. 
yeah that's a pretty uh, big difference also even though the hungarian team shot a miss in the last end i don't know have you seen it but this girl seemed so confident <laughs> while she <laughs> shot like i would never even guess that she shot it so the pressure is very high in such tournaments and it's very important to keep um, keep your mindset very strong if you want <laughs> to succeed and yeah. we see that she came back from yeah, the you arrow can she see shot that she shot a miss so but she's trying happens. her best yeah it happens uh it's important to be strong <coughs> and for them to keep their heads clear and finish and to shoot. tenses just what they needed to of put course. some pressure on the dutch team <coughs> Yeah, Netherlands is on fire on this tournament. Yeah, they are, they are answering like they should be. Mm -hmm. They work good as a team, we can see. They communicate. <coughs> so it's uh, very good energy among them. Lily is shooting her second arrow now. She's a stone, like you, you cannot read her. She can shoot an X, she can shoot a 9, she will have the same face, but she's so confident. <coughs> she also shot very, very well in qualification round. I think she was in the first 10. I was on the target with her. Um, yeah, she was 9th if I'm not... 9th? Yeah, yeah she, she was like <coughs> really, really <coughs> good. 10, 10, 10, 10, 40 points. <laughs> well, we see perfect score for the Hungarian team. And that's just what they needed to put pressure on the Netherlands and as well as to the comeback yes, from the match before, mm. from the end before. But yes, the answers just like before, she doesn't care that they have a perfect score. She shoots as well. You can see Steph preparing. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 40 points, also for Dendermann, the perfect score. Nice, and very interesting. You can see why they are at the finals. Yeah, today. and they have uh, today amazing uh, weather conditions to shoot. Yeah, unlike yesterday and the day uh, before yesterday, it was raining, we were soaked wet here. <laughs> uh, the whole day it didn't stop me for 20 30 minutes the sun uh, chose to come say hi and then <laughs> 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 say hi and goodbye yeah, say hi <laughs> in just <goodbye>. 30 minutes <laughs> yeah it was pretty much like that um i don't know we had everything we had uh, hardcore sun where you could get sunburned yeah. you had cold that you get shivers uh, this tournament was a very interesting one we saw that uh, many archers with very high capabilities um, confusingly lost in some matches and some matches were actually pretty lucky if you got them. Yeah, you had to have I mean luck. We had uh, many, many shoot-offs and I think that's uh, due to the weather because uh, you take one end, the Score wind catches you the other, the one, the yeah, other the athlete takes and so we had many, many shoot-offs uh, in the also in the team matches which is not very common. Yes, but it's super interesting. Yeah, I'm very happy that they even organized uh, the chocolate matches. That was like very interesting, very lovely, even yeah. in this weather. Yeah. But yeah. And now, Hungary is shooting their last end of this bronze medal match, where we will see who will get the bronze medal, who will win it, and these last few arrows are. Nine. The ones that will decide. Nine is not what the Hungary team need to put the pressure on the Dutchess, but it's what you to get. Seven. Yeah, you can see that he didn't like the shot pretty much. Uh, they gave the big, big opening to yeah. Netherlands team. Nine. She didn't like it very much, but nine is just enough. 
yeah. to win this match. Sometimes the pressure is actually the highest in the last few arrows. Yeah, in, in the qualification especially, when you are shooting a pretty <coughs> decent score, uh, maybe even for a record or something, and <laughs> the last end comes, the last arrow comes, you return yes. the string a few times, and <laughs> there's no time. Yeah. We all know the struggle of the last arrow. <laughs> yeah. Nine. Nine again from Lily. Yeah, and that was the last arrow for Lily in this match. We will see how will Ishtman respond. But the fast, the shot was quite fast. Yeah. Oof. So we can see that the Neran still have already won with the last two arrows, but the pressure was very yeah. very high for uh, both athletes and um, these things happen on tournaments as well yeah we can see um, that they are uh, still juniors and that they can get confused with the targets it's we have seen it then with no the of Hungary, the goes to Netherlands. and as we heard now Steph shot nine as the last arrow, and with the last arrow, they won the uh, the bronze medal match and have the bronze medal. Uh, I have to say big congratulations to the bronze medal winners, to Jesse and Steph, and as well to congratulate the Hungarian team, uh, Lili and Chernak, Chernak Istvan. Congratulations, guys. It was lovely watching you shoot and it was very beautiful. And now in just a few minutes we'll be seeing a compound under 21 mixed team gold medal match. We will be seeing a team from France, Lea Giraud and Francois Dubois. And uh, as the second team we'll be seeing a team from Great Britain, Haley Bolton and Finlay Clark. Um, both teams are very, very uh, good and highly qualified uh, teams. Uh, also, on this tournament, in such a crazy, crazy weather, we saw the French team win, uh, actually not win, but uh, make the European record by having one point a ball. And uh, now I will uh, leave you and uh, my and Maria. and Maria will uh, switch me. Uh, I'll hear you hear from you later. And uh, please welcome on the field of play the archers that we shoot for the gold. Will be for between Team France and Team Great Britain. The France team are Lea Giroux and Francois Dubois. Uh, for Great Britain, we'll be shooting Haley Bolton and Finley Clark. We can see that. Uh, well, as we said before, the Great Britain team won against, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the Great Britain team defeated the Hungarian team 132-124. Uh, there, of course, was a great, great uh, quantities of rain and of wind, so the scores should not uh, misjudge you. They will shoot pretty decent today because, of course, you shoot on the gold medal match. And the France team they defeated with greater scores the Netherlands team 143, 132, and we expect from them to shoot just as good today.
So just a few seconds to change the target and we'll begin. You can see there is some pressure on the Britain team. Uh, the uh, boy Finley, he is trying to relax. Uh, We are ready to go. Force and We are ready to start. First we'll shoot France on target number one. And after them we'll shoot Great Britain on target number two. The French archer looks very confident and has shot now. To go with the first arrow is liner nine, maybe ten. The first arrow is a liner, maybe a ten. Nine, but the previous one was definitely a ten. I check it better. Okay, the first arrow has been upgraded to a ten. Nine. A bit nine. of a hold for Haley, but she shot a 9 and the France are reading with 1 point or maybe 2 if the 9 is on the way. Ten. Great shot from the French archer. We are... Nine. Nine for Lea, so the French team has 38 points with the and a bit of biography for the archers that are shooting today. Uh, Nine. Francois, this is his this is uh, his I think third uh, appearance in uh, the international stage. Uh, he even has a uh, World Cup in the uh, third place in the uh, in the uh, Archer uh, World Series in France. And uh, with the with the mixed team he has in Cyan in Switzerland last year. Uh, uh, bronze medal as well. Lea is. I can see is much more experienced. Uh, she has many medal, medal, many many medals uh, in the individual, in the teams, in the mixed teams. So uh, she knows what she is doing and why she is here. For the Great Britain team, we can see that uh, Haley she is also used to the international stage. Um, she was participating in the last year World Archery Youth Championships. She became third in the uh, individuals. Um, and me and my colleague here, Maria, we saw her. We were watching there. We were also in Limerick uh, for the men, Finley Clark. He's much more experienced from his shooting from in the international stage, uh, the longest from the four. Uh, juniors competing now. Um, he became third in the uh, cadet when he was under 18 in the Romania uh, 2021st and we'll be beginning with the second end. Um, uh, Britain starting on target number two because they are trailing behind two points.
you can see that uh, Finley is not relaxed at all or it's just as he looks I don't know we'll see now when he shoots a bit of a hold nine and a nine he's not happy he's changing his side right now and it's time for Hayley the face she made when she shot it the arrow was still in the air and she knew that it was not a decent shot the British archers have a bit more time to settle, but not much. As France nine. shoots a 9, gi giving them a bit of a chance. Great shot from Leah, nine. but it's another 9 looked very strong we're even tight at descent but France is still leading with two points time for the Great Britain team to show some confidence nine, nine again from Finley Finley has only 10 seconds left she managed to shoot <coughs> it and it's a 10 that's just what they need to put some pressure on the French team a bit of a hold as well for Francois Leah is talking behind <coughs> him probably telling him something about yeah, maybe the wind or the con changing of conditions you can see that the pressure has gotten to him. But Leah, look how confident she looks. Nine. And it's a nine, nine as well. 74. France is still leading by only one point. Uh, GBR 73. Uh, these four nines from France give Britain. Uh, Britain is still trailing one point after this end, so there's still chance for the match to go anyway. The pressure is definitely getting to the athletes. So, for the qualifications of the both teams, uh, for the qualifications, France qualified first, first yeah. and actually Finn from Great Britain shot a personal best in qualifications on Tuesday. Hopefully ca he can show that form here too. And actually Great Britain qualified second, so we are looking at the first second seed here on so the so gold final. And a bit of a surprise, yeah, the 10 from Healy is not actually a 10, it was not touching the line, so they have a 9 and the score from the last 10 is even, so France is still leading with 2 points. So the third end begins. This is actually the first time where uh, Lea and Francois are shooting together. They have never shot together before. But we can see that they're a pretty good team. They have mixed together and they shoot pretty confident. That applies also for the Great Britain team. They're also shooting for the first time and together, no. and it's a 10 from no Finley, no doubt. Uh, so 
that's what he needs to put pressure on the France team. It's time for Haley. She's looking pretty confident. She shot another 10 and uh, 20 is exactly what they need. The pressure is in France. It looks like the British archers have settled. So let's see what the French will do. You can see that Lea is speaking to Francois, giving him confidence and it's working. He shot 10. He's answering to what Great Britain are offering. It's Lea's turn. As before, she is pretty confident. She stands on her own place. She knows what she's doing. And she shot an X. So France is answering pretty good on what Great Britain are offering. And the pressure is again in Great Britain. They have to shoot again. Great response from Great Britain. Let's see their last arrow from this end. Nine, 39 points. Uh, 39, not a bad result, but let's see if France can manage to shoot again to tens and make their lead even greater. Nine. A nine from Francois, the pressure got to him. It's up to Lea to make the score even in descent. She she looked a bit unhappy with this shot. It's a nine. So France leads with one point still. The pressure definitely got to the French archers, uh, but hopefully they recover. They still lead by one point. By the way, we can see that Francois will be shooting tomorrow for the bronze medal match in the individual. He shot pretty decent in the individual matches, 139-135 against the Romanian archer Daniel Alexandrescu. Uh, and he shot uh, for the quarter matches against uh, the Italian Andrea Marchetti, 141-137. But unfortunately he lost to Vitaly Vdovenko, 142-139. As for Finley, uh, he was qualified fourth in the qualifications. He defeated 134-131 the... Uh, the Slovenian Viktor Primozvic and he shot a shoot off but unfortunately he lost against Vitaly Vodenko so he should have shot against uh, Francois but in the in the finals Great Britain begin again let's see what will they will do A bit of a longer hold for Finn Clark. We can see that he was shaking a bit, nice. but it's a 10. He managed to put it inside. As for the women, we can see that Lea was first in the qualification. She shot pretty decent. And she also shot a shot off, but she won it. Nice. And Haley was second in the qualification. And she lost her match uh, 140 139 in the quarterfinals, so unfortunately, we won't see her tomorrow. A great shot from the French archer, it's a 10. It's Lea's turn now. And 10 from Lea. So by now France are leading two points and the Great Britain team pretty much needs to tense to put the pressure on them and hope for the best. X. 
uh, a very great shot from Finn Clark. This is great for for his last arrow. Of course, if we have a shoot of it, won't be his last. But let's say it's his last. It's great arrow for his last arrow in this competition. Haley not so <laughs> confident with this one, but still a ten. She dragged it across. So one fifty, pretty good score. But we'll see France respond. A ten and a nine will be pretty much decent to finish this match it's and a 10 from france, from france well, so they uh, need a nine to win the match nine, and they nine. get it it was just enough to win congratulations to the french team it was just enough to win. Uh, while the French are taking victory photos, I will introduce the next match to you. The next match will be between Greece and Croatia. And uh, Greece will shoot on target number one and Croatia on the target number two. For the bronze in the compound under 18 mixed team category, for Greece will shoot. Anastasia Alexopoul and Georgios Papakostantopoulos. Sorry if the pronunciation is a pretty bit uh, wrong, but uh, for the Croatians we'll shoot Hanna Arapovic and Max Posavic. The Greece team will be Anastasia Alexopoulos and Georgios Papakonstantopoulos. The participants for the next uh, medal match. Uh, the archers are arriving. The judges and uh, coaches take place on the field of play. And now we, we welcome can see the that the uh, Greece team uh, won uh, against Romania 133-129. But unfortunately on the next match they lost against Great Britain 143-132. The Croatian team they were uh, third in the qualifications the with uh, 1291. They were by on the quarter final and on the half final they were against Croatia. Uh, uh, they were against Italy, sorry, uh, but they was 140-138. We can see that the crowd is cheering pretty loudly. They need the archers need that to uh, release the stress and have more confidence. Uh, Team Croatia will shoot first on target number two. And we are starting now. So 
some biography these teams uh, like the last ones are f shooting together for the first time you see <coughs> they will uh, mix together as well a great first shot from Max it's a 10 great for him a very confident nine. shot from his partner too for but it's a nine. For the Greek team, Anastasia and Georgios, this is their first uh, international competition. Um, but it's pretty decent because, as you can see, they are on the finals. Today. And it's a 10 for uh, Georgios. Uh, the same applies for the Croatian team. They are here for the first time as well on the international stage. Um, not a good shot for Anastasia, she was not happy about it, it's an 8, so for now Croatia are leading with 1 point. A bit of a hold for Max, <coughs> but it's no matter, he shot a 10. 20 seconds left for Stone faced, she's ready. Uh, nine. She was a it bit surprised by that shot, and it went nine. Team Greece need to shoot two tens to match the score. This nine. looks like a 9, it's a 9, so they will not be able to match Croatia's score this end. Let's see how much points they will be training behind, and seven. it's a 7 for... Um, 34 Lucia. points for Greece, 38 for Croatia! So, Croatia is leading by 4 points, we'll just wait for confirmation. Uh, a bit of a uh, for the archers, how they in the individual stage, how they performed. Um, Georgios were, was 19th in the qualification and uh, unfortunately he lost his first match against Tokan Delfos from uh, Belgium, 129-121. Maybe the weather got to them uh, because it was this match was shot yesterday and yesterday was pretty windy for all archers. Um, for uh, Max, Max was 13th in the in his f uh, qualification. Uh, he was buying his first match and. He unfortunately lost in the 1-8 uh, from, from Alfie Reading uh, the, from Great Britain. We'll actually see Alfie Reading uh, in a few minutes for the gold medal match from the compound under 18 mixed team. Uh, yes, well, for the ladies. Uh, for the ladies. Uh, Anastasia was 8th in qualifications and Anna was actually 12th. Both of them got eliminated in 1-8th. Anastasia actually won in 1-8th against Caterina Morodeo from Italy, but uh, she lost unfortunately uh, against the top qualifier Jennifer uh, Winzen from Sweden and uh, it was a pretty tight score 121-119 uh, maybe as well the weather got to them yesterday was awful for shooting so we'll begin with the second end the Greek team will shoot first because they are trailing behind four points to catch up to Georgios is shooting first Mm, 
Nice Hi. shot from him and it's a 10. It's just what he needs to put some pressure on the creations. Let's see how Anastasia will match up to. This sh the shot looked great, but she still can't find the middle. It's an 8. A bit of a hold. He made the face when he shot it. We are late waiting hey. for confirmation, but it's a 10. Hana, but it's to ten, so no matter the hold, it's just what they need, and a bit of uh, confusion for the questions. They thought they were shooting again, but they need to wait for the Greece team. Uh, from Georgios, ten, and it's a ten for Georgios. And actually, we can see that uh, Max and Hanna are only 13 years old, which is pretty amazing <coughs> to come here in the under 18 division and shoot just so good for the uh, bronze medal match. Uh, in the meantime, the Greeks shot two tens. Finally, Anastasia found the middle. Nine. And it's a 9 for uh, Max, the pressure got a little bit to him, but the questions are still leading. And for the Greek team, Anastasia is 15 years old and Georgios is 16 years old. And it's a, it's a 10 from the 13 year old Hannah, she's shooting amazingly today. And now Croatia is leading with five points. Student, uh, the weather today is amazing, just a little bit of wind, but nothing too serious like the other days. Uh, so the archers seem now used to what it's like to be on the final stage. We'll begin with the third score. So we're ready to begin. The Greeks are again shooting first because they're trailing behind. Georgios is shooting first. Of course, we see again the cheers from the Croatians. And we begin. <laughs> Georgios forgot to take out his stand. He threw it on the back and he is ready to shoot. He is very confident. Nine! Uh, but it's a nine. This is not what the Greeks need to put the pressure on the Croatians when they are trailing five points behind. Let's see how we want us to see a challenge them. It's a nice shot Hello. and it's a 10. She found her way, she now knows how to <laughs> shoot those 10s. Let's hope she continues. So from the Croatians. It's a great response from the Croatian Max. He shot to 10. This is just what he needs to keep up with the difference. It's Hannah's turn. Let's see her response. 
she was not very Nine. happy and it's a nine they're tight even in descent let's see if Greece can manage to put a bit more pressure on the Croatians we see that it's working Liner 9, maybe 10. And it's a uh, liner 9, maybe 10. It's up to the judges to decide. Let's say it's a uh, 9 for now. A bit of a long hold for Anastasia. The shot looked great. Ten. And, and it's, it's a, 10. a 10. By the way, Anastasia was left with only 2 seconds, so it's pretty hard to shoot under such circumstances when you're n we don't have so much time. But she managed just perfectly. Let's see how will Croatia respond a bit to her hold from nine. Max and it's a nine. The pressure has gotten to him. Looked a bit surprised by the shot. But they are still leaving. Five seconds left. Ten. And she shoots a ten. That means uh, 38, 38, it's tight and Croatians are still leading with 5 points. That may become 4, depending on if gr the third Greek arrow is upgraded to a 10 or it stays a 9. But they need to shoot quite well in the last end to have hopes for the gold medal. I am sorry, uh, the bronze medal. We are going to see the gold medal match after this one. We are just waiting for confirmation on the scores. And it's confirmed, it's 38 versus 38. Uh, the arrow was not on the line. So uh, Croatia is still leading with 5 points. I may be repeating myself, but the Croatians are shooting amazingly. They are just 13 year old, uh, both of them. So it's amazing for so young archers to shoot so good. Of course, the cheers from the Croatians. And we begin with the 4th and last end. Yorios is shooting first. And at least we can see that today both kings are shooting better than they shot eight. what their last matches, but Yorios now shoots an 8. That's not what he needs to put the pressure on cre the Croatians. Let's see. Anastasia will respond to his shot. Nine! And it's a nine. So Croatia should be now relaxed, confident in themselves. Bit of a hold, he shoots. Man, it's an 8. We can see, of course, uh, always on the last end the pressure is the greatest. Uh, no matter if you're leading, it's still gotten to you, so uh, no surprise here. And she was a bit surprised, uh, actually great surprise from the shot, but it's a 9. So they're tight now. Uh, Greece still has a chance. Let's see how Georgios will shoot. Only 24 seconds left for the both of them. Will be 10 with the time. <laughs> and it's a 10. Great last arrow from Georgios. Anastasia uh, a bit pressured on time. She has only 10 seconds left. The coach is counting. She puts the tampon and she says. And she shoots. And it's a 10. 
it's exactly what the Greeks needed to put the pressure on them so the Croatians need only 16 points to 8 so will be enough to win the medal and it's an 8 but it's no problem it's enough Hannah needs to shoot only an 8 to win a 7 will be a shoot off and she was surprised yeah. but it was a 10 yeah. so yeah. congratulations yeah. to Croatia and with 150 points, it's much better than there was than their uh, half match for uh, versus Italy. Then they shot 138. Now they shoot 150. We can see that they managed to put themselves together, uh, no matter the pressure. And great shooting by both teams. And. Uh, it's just amazing, I'm repeating myself, but it's just amazing that uh, they're only 13 years old and they're winning a medal in the international stage. So now we'll welcome the compound under 18 mixed team teams for the gold medal, Great Britain and Italy. We will now begin the compound under 18 mixed team gold medal match between Great Britain and Italy. For Great Britain, we will shoot Chloe Scott and Alfie Redding, and for Italy, Caterina Gallo and Christian Gabrielli. Both teams look quite stressed. Nine. Uh, Great Britain qualified first and Italy qualified second, so we are again Nine. looking at the first second gold medal match. Uh, Great Britain 
uh, was by in the one fourth and then won the cor the one half final against nice. Greece with 143 again 132. For now both teams have a nine. Great Britain has two nines. Italy <laughs> has shot a ten. Another nine for Chloe. Nine. And another four nines for Great, Great, Britain. For Great Britain. Another 10 for Italy. They look a bit more relaxed than the British. It shows for now they lead with two points. Let's see their last arrow from the first end. She nine. didn't look that happy with it. It's a nine. And is Great Britain is trailing by two points against Italy. Uh, both teams are shooting for the first Great time Britain. together mm. and One, the, qualification round was 13, 14, the British team Italy are both 16 eight, years uh, old now, and Alfie Ridding has a mixed team medal from last year's uh, Youth Cup in Switzerland and it looks like it was with Chloe So they do have, ha they have shot together so and the have two, a medal there. First, also the medal. Katerina is 17. She has a lot of experience in the from last year, and it looks like this is the first international competition for uh, Christian, and he's only 13 years old so hopefully we'll be seeing a lot more from him in the coming years Chloe looks quite surprised by this shot, not very happy with it, but it might be a 10, the judges will have to say.
let's see how the Italians respond. It's a nine for After confirmations from the judges, Britain leads by one point over Italy and now Italy will start first. In the qualifications, Katerina qualified fourth and Chloe qualified third, so they had no chance to meet each other and Chloe will shoot for the gold medal match tomorrow while Katerina will shoot for the bronze after some pretty tough eliminations in yesterday's weather and we're talking about a lot about the weather but we actually needed to cut the competition short on Wednesday because of thunderstorms so the mixed teams and teams had to shoot yesterday. Now Italy start begins. They need a very uh, confident first arrow to put some pressure on Britain and some confidence in themselves. Uh, Christian looked very surprised by this shot. It's a six. This is definitely not what they needed. Let's see if Katerina can help the situation a bit. She look nine. The shot looked great, it's a 9. The pressure is definitely getting to these archers. They haven't shot much mixed team on such a level before, so it will be kind quite hard for them to calm their nerves. A great shot from Chloe Scott Hi. and it's a 10, exactly what they needed. Let's see how uh, Alfie will finish this end. Ten. Uh, so one hundred and 
from the British audience they are trying to cheer up their archers cheer them on on their lead to hopefully winning the gold medal here Gruzja, Trump, 
Francia. Hello, hi, hello. And we welcome uh, the participant for the next match. It's, okay. it's not mine. Okay. okay, it's not working. Go oh, this is working. Match Only this one. For the yes. Compound under 21 man team. Hello, everybody. Uh, we are back here and we will be seeing the gold medal match under 21 men team. We will be seeing Italy and Netherlands. And here I'm commentating with Elena from Greece's national team. And I'm Lara from Croatia national team. Okay, in our first compound under 21 gold medal match we will be seeing Italian team where we will be seeing Fabrizio Aloisi. Andrea Marchetti and Gabriel Mariconi. And for Team Netherlands, we'll be see Martin Schiffros, Damian Templeman and Steph Williams. Judge of the match, Mr. Aurel Rob. And we are ready for the first stand with the field. Both teams shot very well, where Italy placed first after the qualification as the team, while Netherlands placed third. Can you tell us maybe something about the archers? In the Italian team, we have Fabrizio Aloisi, who competed in world championships, two international event circuits, one international event circuit and continental championships. He has medals from youth championships as well as his teammates. They are competing uh, mostly on youth championships. Uh, he has, as well as uh, the Andrea Marchetti, uh, who also won with his team um, gold medal in Varazin in European Championships. And for Gabriel Mariconi, he also competes worldwide. While for Netherlands, we have Martin, whose age is 17, and he also has one international event. While Damien has Nine, uh, one international event as well, and Steph Williams is more, let's say, qualified, where he has even a medal from World Cup. So he's a senior shooter, very qualified one. Nine, and we have seen that the Italian team has opened the match with a score of of 27 and Netherlands is shooting second. Eight. We can see that they are I a little bit under the pressure. What do you think? Seven. They started with an eight and now the following arrow is a seven. We're waiting for the third arrow. Steph is here definitely to lead the team and he also shot in a mixed team <laughs> bronze medal <laughs> match today where he won the bronze medal with Makov. Yes, in Makov. Now Italy starting in second with Gabriel shooting. Nine. Oh. 
also both teams qualified very well individually uh, especially the Italian team where uh, Alessio Alessio is shooting for the bronze medal on Saturday um, which is very hard this year because there are many excellent shooters on the field so that's a very very big thing he's shooting the third uh, arrow Total of 56 points. last arrow yes Nine. Damien started shooting with his first arrow nine, and now the following archer, Martin, is Martin is a bit under pressure. Eight. He shot an eight, and Total now their differences is growing. So Steph is now leading the team. Eight. And he shot the nine. They have a difference of six points. It's quite hard to cover them, but they have possibilities. Yes. I think this was quite an unexpected shot from Steph. He's also confused, as I can see. Even though he's very relaxed, both teams seem seem very very calm with their shooting with, with their environment circumstances and everything yes uh tell me now something about yourself you're also a shooter yes what do you shoot i shoot recurve under 18. oh yes. for real yes for real <laughs> <laughs> which bow are you shooting Hoyt uh, exit mm. Nice. I'm a compound shooter. <laughs> In which category? Under 21. This is my last year, actually. Oh. Yes, this was my last uh, Youth Cup tournament. Are you sad? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. How I many years are you competing internationally? Internationally, so since 2019, where I had my debut in uh, Youth Cup as a 14-year-old. Yeah, but we had the COVID in 2020, so we had a year of pause. It's my first international competition. That's great. Did you enjoy it? Yes, it was great. Yes, and I hope it still is. <laughs> <laughs> we can hear the cheering from uh, the team, the Italian team. They are very, very happy to, to be watching their teammates. <laughs> Damien, <laughs> Damien went <laughs> almost too soon. So the Netherlands team will be shooting first, starting with Damien. Uh, probably a 10. Damien started with a 10. A perfect first auto. And now Martin. Nine. Shot a 9. <laughs> Steph's turn is now. Second line. Second line for his team. Now Italians are shooting. Starting with Gabriel. He seems so calm. Seven. Just shot at ten. Uh, 
And now the last arrow will be closed by Fagiolino himself shooting the third arrow. Fagiolino looks very calm. Ten and extra. yes, he done it. A 10. Now again starting with Damian. I um, I'm very happy that uh, I got to know many people on this tournament as nice. well as uh, the Italian team whom I'm very close to and uh, for example uh, Fabrizio was also once commentating with me on one tournament the last one we were together on and it was uh, very, very delightful these are such nice uh, boys and friends and uh, it's uh, very nice to have also this type of experience with commentating <laughs> How do you feel about it? About commentating? Yes, yes. It's my first time doing it. I'm a bit anxious, but it's a very nice experience. Yes, I bet. <laughs> now Steph is yeah, shooting yeah. last. He He just shot a nine. Hmm. And now the Italian team is shooting again. They seem very confident. Uh, yeah, they have a quite a big difference in points yes. now. And, and just shot another 10. Yes, they are drilling the 10 ring. They are feeling super confident and happy with the difference they made in points. But uh, you know what is good about gold medal matches? Is that everybody gains, actually. That's true. Nice. Yes. One gains a little bit more by uh, having the experience and the gold medal, but... Uh, but they really want the gold medal. Um, what? They really want the gold medal. Yes, yes, they really do want it. Ten. Nice, this was a very, very close one. Yeah. Plus nine for Italy, About gaining, I meant uh, also that uh, even when you lose in such match, you, give, you have the silver medal. So yeah. maybe you can feel bitter for a short time about it, but... You, you still lose though. <laughs> um, okay, <laughs> but you have the silver medal. Imagine yes. losing in bronze medal match. Yes. Then you don't have nothing. <laughs> and you are the only one who has lost two times. Uh, uh. You've lost to get <laughs> <laughs> in the to get in the uh -huh. gold medal. Yes. And then you lost again. You're the only one who has lost two times. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. We can see that athletes are quite comfortable and even though the difference between the points is very big, I think that everything is possible, which was like proven on this tournament <laughs> with all the crazy weather conditions and uh, the difference in scores like um, uh, Netherlands, even though they have a big gap we saw today that it's still possible to win with bigger gaps so big gaps everything can happen yeah we'll see will the netherlands team manage to put the pressure on the italian team with their next end and dutch team will start to shoot first Nine. The Netherlands team started with a nine, and now Martin has the pressure on him. Ten. But he just shot a ten. Steph seems quite confident. Ten, uh, and yes, in. he just shot the 10. Italian team starting to shoot second. They seem very, very calm. 
we'll see will they keep drilling on the X and ten no. ring or will the Netherlands team or did the Netherlands Netherlands team put the pressure on them?
Was it a... Now it's okay. He didn't hear us, what we were talking about. Nine! Just before, for a little time, it was... Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. We had a technical delay, but... Uh, we now we're back. See. Now we are back. And uh, Steph is shooting his uh, last arrow, last arrow the of last the arrow day. Of the Hopefully it's a 10 and a satisfying one. So... Nine! Ah, Steph. It's okay. It's okay. The guys gave their best. Also, you asked me about uh, how did uh, Fabrizio get the nickname? Yeah. Fagiolino. So, the Italian team has a custom of giving nicknames uh, based on their surnames or names. So, Fabrizio is also known as Fabri, Fabrizio, Fagiolino, and (laughs) (laughs) similar. They have many same named athletes in their team. So, yeah, I think it's quite adorable. That makes them more close and almost family-like. They make family-like environment for their athletes. They seem very close. Yes. They are always having fun (laughs) shooting. (laughs) Yes. They are like a big, big family. They uh, make a safe environment for their athletes to grow, for their team to grow. So... um, their team is only the one everybody can look upon if they want a uh, high quality team. And Pagellino finished yeah. with the a nine? with the nine. What does it matter? It's enough. <laughs> <laughs> Good shooting from both teams. Um, congratulations to Italy for winning the gold medal and congratulations to Netherlands for amazing fight and also winning the silver medal. Um, yes. And uh, for now, I will be leaving you. Yes. Somebody else will join you. I had a lovely time commentating on this match. And uh, thank you so much for being the commentating r- commentator with me. And now we will be greeting the bronze medal match. Uh, team from Georgia and team from France. But that's something that I will leave to you. Thank you so much for commentating with me. And congratulations to both athletes again.
in a few minutes, uh, the recurve under 18 mixed team match the, for the bronze medal is going to start. It's between Georgia and France. Uh, it's Elena, and now I'm with Megan Robertson from Great Britain. <laughs> We will be commentating this match together and the next one. Okay, so the Georgian team is consisted of Bolokaje Anna and Daviti Basilaje. I think I'm pronouncing the names right. Uh, they qualified 13 with a score of 1,225 points. Uh, they won their first match against Italy and their second match against Switzerland. Uh, and they and now they're they lost their third match against Germany and now they're competing for the bronze medal match. Uh, their opponent is France, consisting of Melina Tukussel and Sharit Corentin. Apologies if I pronounce any names wrong. Uh, they qualified with 1,304 points, ranking third. Uh, in the 1-8s they had a bye and in the quarterfinals they won against Cyprus 5-1 and uh, then lost against Ukraine in the semis. It's their first time being in an international competition and competing in a mixed team together for both teams.
Ladies and gentlemen, we move to the Peter's order. Next to the match, we enter the judges and coaches. They just move the targets because, because now the match is at 60 meters under 18 Ricard Bow. And now both teams are entering the field. Georgia, Georgia is on the first target and France on the second. And we can hear the cheering from their teammates. They seem confident and anxious at the same time. I hope they're confident and sure about themselves. So Georgia will shoot first on target one. No, oh, France is shooting first. Shoot first. Sorry, sorry. Quarantine is starting. He's confident. There's not that much air in the field. <laughs> he started with a nine. Great score. And now Melina. Georgia team is shooting now. Uh, Davidi is shooting first. He is sir. <laughs> he just shot a ten. Now the Anna's turn. She seems a bit anxious. Is very now. Yes. That's a southern nine. Eight. We can hear this the cheering from France team. They really want this medal from their teammates. Melina just shot an eight. Now George's team turn. They're running. And the Georgia team got the first set to zero with a total of 34 points while France team shot 32. Today is a great day. <laughs> it is, it's actually really warm. Yes. I put on loads of layers. Yesterday was so cold. Oh, it was freezing, <laughs> honestly. And uh, the water all collected on tents. So when, when people were putting all their bows up, like the tent sort of was like, uh, put all the water on my head. And I just thought, <laughs> no, <laughs> serious. I just got covered in water. 
and there's not air today, only a bit, but it's not bothering the athletes. Uh, he just went to go on the line. Before yes, the before the time. Those shots look so relaxed. Yes. I just know I'd be shaking with <laughs> Me too. <laughs> My leg would <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> they both the uh, archers from French team, Melina and Core team, so nine and now Georgia team shooting. She just shot a nine. Now Anna has pressure on her. She wants to shoot a good arrow. She seems confident, strong. Yeah. That was a very nice release. Yeah. Seven. But it was a seven. Quarantine shot an eight. Now there's air. She's waiting. Starting. That seven. Good. And that's seven. Bo Kondo there. What? Yeah, a bit of a Bo Kondo there. Flinging her bow yes. to the side. Strong release <laughs> and sort of ten. He's very calm. Now Anna. See sir. Confident. <laughs> and shot another ten. <laughs> so Georgia just took that set. So it's currently 4 0 to Georgia. Georgia's finished on a 36 and France finished on a 33. Uh, if they finish, if they win the next match, they have won uh, this entire match. Uh, so and they get the bronze medal. <laughs> They really want it, and now we can hear the cheering from friends team. They're really trying to help their teammates. I think it's empowering. They're starting now. Their third set. Deep breath. It's probably a ten. Now Melina's turn. <laughs> and she just shot another ten. They really want to win this set. Yeah. That looked like a really confident shot. Yes.
David just saw the ten, and now Anna's turn. And that's a mate. Currently, France is leading by one point at the moment. <laughs> Melina Stearns is taking her time and now she's starting, confident and strong. Nine. And that's a nine. <laughs> That really does shot another ten, and now the pressure is on Anna. I think they need higher than a seven to yeah. win this match. Seven. And she shot yeah. seven. And she shot seven. But the French team won't be set. They did it, and now the points are four and two. So the match is continuing. Yep. Well, I'm scared they're going to take it to a shoot-off. I don't like shoot-offs. <laughs> I really don't like them. <laughs> very anxious, trying to suit only one arrow yeah. can define if you win or lose. It's very hard. Have you ever shot a suit off? Yes. <laughs> many times? <laughs> Unfortunately, many. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, my nerves always get the better of me, but sometimes the adrenaline's all you need. Yeah. So. And you're shaking. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Coming up to draw, and I'm like, oh my goodness. <laughs> Nine. And Clinton just shot a nine. <laughs> Melina is only fifteen, but she's shooting really well. Georgia turn, Georgian team turn. Eight. Started with an eight. Eight. And their second auto is a ten. So France is currently on 19 and Georgia's on 18. So let's see. It's a very long hold. <laughs> but it's still a nine, so.
Seven. Melina just shot a seven. She's very confused. Yeah, she didn't she look didn't too happy about yes. that. <laughs> That's a 10 from Georgia team, and they have to shoot at least eight to win this match. Seven. Yes. Eight. And that's an eight, eight. and they six, two. So Georgia just won the bronze medal with 6-2 to France. They're happy and hugging and cheering. They look very happy with themselves. <laughs> now Congrats on both yeah. teams, especially Georgia for winning. But France team tried really hard. Yeah, they did. Both teams shot really, really well. Now the following match is the gold medal match between Germany and Ukraine. Yes. Ας τα έχουμε μου φέω πετλέω τα κινητά. Α, δούμε. The German team and the Ukraine team are about to come. They just entered the field. Coaches are entering the. Germany is on the first target and Ukraine on the second. Uh, the German team is consisting of Lisa Lux and Nat, Mass, Jack, 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 I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, I'm so sorry. <laughs> and uh, from Ukraine is Victoria uh, Vitkovets and also Nazar Sabotsky. I'm so sorry if I mispronounced any names. <laughs> 
Both teams did great on qualification round. Uh, Germany ended up first with a total of 1,318 points. And the Ukrainian team ended up second with 1,309 points. We can hear the cheering from German and team, and they're starting first. There's a lot of deep breaths before they shoot. Getting ready. They seem very anxious. Yeah. I hope they will overcome it. <laughs> Both of uh, Germans shot eight, and Victoria from Ukraine shot a ten, and now her teammates turn. Nine. And nine. It's a very nice start. Yes. Nine. Nine. German team. The Ukrainian team is starting now. Victor is first. <laughs> That's an eight. Now Lazar is calm, strong. And that's so very, close. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> very close. Very close. <laughs> Do you prefer individuals, teams, or mixed teams for your matches? Um, here, I shot only individual because <laughs> there uh, weren't the other riggers from oh, right. Greeks, Greece's national team. <laughs> but I think I prefer mixed things. Really? And individual. Yeah, yeah. How did you do in your individual matches? Um, I was by in the first match, then I won, and then I lost from the girl from Azerbaijan who is shooting at the gold medal match tomorrow <laughs> in under 18 recurve women's individual rounds. I wish her the best luck. <laughs> <laughs> and you, how did you do? Um, uh, our teams went. Our teams went well. We lost the first match uh, to France, um, but I think we all shot quite well. Um, yeah, I never did mixed team, but individuals were all right. <laughs> I'm happy for you. We can hear the cheering. German starting first. <laughs> His shot is very confident. Yes. Lisa Stern is now. She seems sure and confident. Nine. And that's what a nine. Now, Victoria starting. Started with an eight. She isn't that happy. Nine. 
<laughs> Bad Nazar just shot a pen. So Ukraine is currently one point, oh, no, they're currently 11 points behind uh, Germany. That's a nade from Germany. They finished with 37 and Ukraine team has two arrows. Victoria shot another aid, and now the pressure is on Nazar. But they've lost the match. Yeah. Even a tennis, even to now. So now it's two points for Germany and two points from for Ukraine. Both teams really want to win this match. Now, we can hear the cheering from both teams. Germany is starting. Nine. Starting off with a nine. I didn't look too happy about that. Yeah. Just stayed same. Maybe it might have been a bit of a lucky shot. Ten, seven. Lisa just shot a seven. She wasn't happy about it. Totally understandable. Victoria Zaro is under questioning. Uh, it might be an eight or a nine. But she seems happy. Nine. Seven. She didn't look too happy with that seven. Lisa saw another seven. Victor said no. And she has more than enough time. Twenty-five seconds left. Loads of time. So Ukraine is now on four and Germany is on two. Ukraine scored a 36 whilst Germany scored a 32.
Although we need to see if that uh, eight was a nine or an eight, because I don't think that's been checked yet. Did you have fun being here? Um, How was your experience? Oh, well, I mean, apart from the rain and the wind, <laughs> uh, it was actually quite fun. Yeah, the sun was really nice actually being able to wear shorts when you shoot <laughs> but yeah <coughs> yesterday was a really hard day yesterday was oh my goodness <laughs> i couldn't feel my finger no neither could i i was releasing and i couldn't feel where my hand was going <laughs> He just saw an eight, but it could be a nine. Lisa's turn. Strong arrow. That's a ten. Definitely brought it back. Taking a break. Yeah. Oh. The corner shot another eight. Even with a ten, yes. I don't think they'll get this set. It's a shoot off. Yep. Oh <laughs> it goes to a shoot off. <laughs> oh, that's a 10. Yeah, the car. Shoot off! The pressure is on the outfit Pre now. Yep. Us too. On us too. I'm feeling the pressure as well. Yes, I'm not even do. shooting. <laughs> I don't know what's worse actually shooting or having to watch it. I'm very anxious. Nervous actually when I I'm watching someone else shooting because I want to yell to yeah. him, ten, ten, ten. But at the same time, I don't want to don't put, put the off. pressure yeah. on him. <coughs> I'm just sitting in a chair and watching. Yes. <laughs> That's a hard match, actually. Both teams are very good. They've got very close scores. Yes. Once again, we can hear the crowd cheering. I'm taking two now. <laughs> <laughs> so each team is going to shoot one arrow. One hour each. <laughs> the 
German team is first. It's an eight or a nine. We're not one hundred percent sure. Victor Jasod and nine. <coughs> this is turn is now. She's breathing. She's focused. That's a nice. So the pressure is on Nazar now. <laughs> he just got a nine, and the gold medal goes to Ukraine. Good job, guys. Both teams were great. <laughs> Their teammates in the in the crowd did a massive cheer for them. Uh, they're shaking each other's hands, and now they're doing more cheers for them. <laughs> It's always really exciting when you win a match on the finals field. But it's sad when you lose. <laughs> yeah. That was the last match for now. Thank you for being here and hearing us. Uh, goodbye. 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 <laughs> Zdravíme dnešní instrumenty. Čekaj, že jsme na to ukázali. Čekaj, čekaj. Konka náš povrch, to je tvoje. Znáš, kdo je?
Oh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, sorry for the delay. We had many things to prepare, but we are ready for the hour ceremony in uh, just one minute. Ladies and gentlemen, the victory ceremony for the compound under 18 mixed team. Medals will be presented by World Archery Europe Technical Delegate Ms. Maria Kirilopoulou. Third place, representing Croatia, bronze medal for Anna Arapovic and Mark Pozovic. Second place, representing Italy, silver medal for Caterina Gallo and Christian Gabrielli. the first place uh, representing Great Britain gold medal for Chloe Scott Alfie Reading Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the national anthem of Great Britain. Please give a big round of applause to our athletes.
Ladies and gentlemen, the victory ceremony for the Coupon Under 18 Women Team. Medals will be presented by the rector of the National Sport Academy, the Professor Krasmir Petkov. Third place, representing Croatia, bronze medal for Anna Arapovic, Luka Bobunovic and Nika Zujek. Silver medal representing Great Britain, Grace Coulomb, Chloe Scott, Violet Walker. And the first place representing Italy, gold medal for Caterina Gallo, Caterina Moroldo, Anastasia Poenio Pitera. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the national anthem of Italy. Please leave a big round of applause to our athletes. Well, thank you very much.
Ladies and gentlemen, the victory ceremony for the compound under 18 men team. Medals will be presented by Dean of the Faculty of Sport, Associate Professor Emil Atanasov. Second place, representing Belgium, silver medal for Don Del Foss, Harry Demey, Samuel Rompen. First place, representing Italy, gold medal for Omar Cecco, Andrea Fenoglio, Gatto, Cristian Gabrielli. Now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, please stand for the national anthem of Italy. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, the victory ceremony for the compound under 21 mixed team.
Medals will be presented by Deputy Dean of Faculty of Sport, the Associate Professor Ivan Lapchek. Third place, representing Netherlands, bronze medal for Jesse van Munchkaf, Estep Willems. Second place, representing Great Britain, silver medal for Hal Bolton, Finlay Clark. First place, representing France, gold medal for Nia Giraud and François Dubois. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the national anthem of France. Big round of applause to our athletes. Ladies and gentlemen, the victory ceremony for the compound under 21 women team. Medals will be presented by the President of Bulgarian Archery Federation, Mr. Athanas Temeko. Third place, representing Iceland, bronze medal for Freya Dis Benedictotir, Tordis Unur, Yerdotir and Helwin Mamalias. Second place uh, representing Italy.
Italy, silver medal, Martina Del Duca, Giulia Di Nardo, Martina Serafini. the first place uh, representing France uh, gold medal for Alicia Champot, Lia Giraud, Chloé Leroy The ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the national anthem of France. Ladies and gentlemen, the victory ceremony for the Copa Under-21 men team. Medals will be presented by the rector of the National Sport Academy, Professor Krasimir Petkov. Third place, uh, representing Ukraine, bronze medal for uh, Svladuslav Karpenko, Daniel Netenko and Vitali Domenko. Second place, representing Netherlands, silver medal for Martin Schippers, the Damian Templeman, Steph Williams.
First place, representing Italy, gold medal for Fabrizio Aloisi, Andrea Marchetti, Gabriel Moriconi. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the national anthem of Italy. Ladies and gentlemen, the victory ceremony for the Ricker Under-18 Mix Team. Medals will be presented by Dean of the Faculty of Sport, the Associate Professor Emil Atanasov. Third place, representing Georgia, Anna Bolokadze, Davidi Basiladze. Second place, representing Germany, Lisa Lux, Knud Mates Jakubczyk. In the first place, representing Ukraine, gold medal for Victoria Vitkovets, Nazar Subutsky.
Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the national anthem of Ukraine. Thank you very much, uh, dear athletes. Now, I'd like uh, to call all the medalists, all the athletes that received the medal on the podium uh, for uh, the traditional pictures of the winner. So, all the archers with the medal, all the archers with the medal on the podium. You don't go away, you stay there. Come on. The medalists, all the kids with the medal, on the podium. No, too shy. Uh, on the podium, on the podium, come on, come on. Almost one. <laughs> Two, three, good. Uh, Netherlands, very well. Finland, where are you? No, Iceland. Come on, come on, all the archers with the medal. It's not the first time that we do that. Come on. Please, uh, our guest, uh, if you want to reach the podium for the official picture. I don't want to see metal around, not on the podium. I see some metal on Bulgaria. Come on, on the podium. Eh? It's a pass, sorry. So, if we are all here, we can take the feature picture. Okay, wait, one more. I see one more medal coming. Okay, five more second time. Go. Italians. <coughs> and voila, congratulations guys to everybody for the medals. And this uh, was the last moment uh, of this amazing morning here in uh, Sofia for the 2024 European Youth Cup first leg. We will uh, meet again this afternoon for the recurve finals. Thank you very much and have a good lunch.